26th day of abide in christ by andrew murray this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by christopher smith and in love to the brethren this is my commandment that ye love one another as i have loved you john chapter 15 verse 12 like as the father loved me even so i have loved you like as i have loved you even so love ye one another god became man divine love began to run in the channel of a human heart it becomes the love of man to man the love that fills heaven and eternity is ever to be daily seen here in the life of earth and of time this is my commandment the saviour says that ye love one another as i have loved you he sometimes spoke of commandments but the love which is the fulfilling of the law is the all including one and therefore is called his commandment the new commandment it is to be the great evidence of the reality of the new covenant of the power of the new life revealed in jesus christ it is to be the one convincing and indisputable token of discipleship hereby shall all men know that ye are my disciples that they may be one in us that the world may believe that they may be made perfect in one that the world may know that thou hast loved them as thou hast loved me to the believer seeking perfect fellowship with christ the keeping of this commandment is at once the blessed proof that he is abiding in him and the path to a fuller and more perfect union let us try and understand how this is so we know that god is love and that christ came to reveal this not as a doctrine but as a life his life in its wonderful self-abasement and self-sacrifice was above everything the embodiment of divine love the showing forth to men in such human manifestations as they could understand how god loves in his love to the unworthy and the ungrateful in his humbling himself to walk among men as a servant in his giving himself up to death he simply lived and acted out the life of the divine love which was in the heart of god he lived and died to show us the love of the father and now just as christ was to show forth god's love believers are to show forth to the world the love of christ they are to prove to men that christ loves them and in loving fills them with a love that is not of earth they by living and by loving just as he did are to be perpetual witnesses to the love that gave itself to die he loved so that even the jews cried out as at bethany behold how he loved christians are to live so that men are compelled to say see how these christians love one another in their daily intercourse with each other christians are made a spectacle to god and to angels and to men and in the christ-likeness of their love to each other are to prove what manner of spirit they are of amid all diversity of character or of creed of language or of station they are to prove that love has made them members of one body and of each other and has taught them each to forget and sacrifice self for the sake of the other their life of love is the chief evidence of christianity the proof to the world that god sent christ and that he has shed abroad in them the same love with which he loved him of all the evidences of christianity this is the mightiest and most convincing this love of christ's disciples to each other occupies a central position between their love to god and to all men of their love to god whom they cannot see it is the test the love to one unseen may so easily be a mere sentiment or even an imagination in the intercourse with god's children love to god is really called into exercise and shows itself in deeds that the father accepts as done to himself so alone can it be proved to be true the love to the brethren is the flower and fruit of the root unseen in the heart of love to god and this fruit again becomes the seed of love to all men 
intercourse with each other is the school in which believers are trained and strengthened to love their fellow-men who are yet out of christ not simply with the liking that rests on points of agreement but with the holy love that takes hold of the unworthiest and bears with the most disagreeable for jesus sake it is love to each other as disciples that is ever put in the foreground as the link between love to god alone and to men in general in christ's intercourse with his disciples this brotherly love finds the law of its conduct as it studies his forgiveness and forbearance towards his friends with the seven times seven as its only measure as it looks to his unwearied patience and his infinite humility as it sees the meekness and lowliness with which he seeks to win for himself a place as their servant wholly devoted to their interests it accepts with gladness his command ye should do as i have done john thirteen fifteen following his example each lives not for himself but for the other the law of kindness is on the tongue for love has vowed that never shall one unkind word cross its lips it refuses not only to speak but even to hear or think evil of the name and character of the fellow christian it is more jealous than of its own my own good name i may leave to the father my brothers my father has entrusted to me in gentleness and loving kindness in courtesy and generosity in self-sacrifice and beneficence in its life of blessing and of beauty the divine love which has been shed abroad in the believer's heart shines out as it shone in the life of jesus christian what say you of this your glorious calling to love like christ does not your heart bound at the thought of the unspeakable privilege of thus showing forth the likeness of the eternal love or are you rather ready to sigh at the thought of the inaccessible height of perfection to which you are thus called to climb brother sigh not at what is in very deed the highest token of the father's love that he has called us to be like christ in our love just as he was like the father in his love understand that he who gave the command in such close connection with his teaching about the vine and the abiding in him gave us in that the assurance that we have only to abide in him to be able to love like him accept the command as a new motive to a more full abiding in christ regard the abiding in him more than ever as an abiding in his love rooted and grounded daily in a love that passeth knowledge you receive of its fullness and learn to love with christ abiding in you the holy spirit sheds abroad the love of god in your heart and you love the brethren the most trying and unlovable with a love that is not your own but the love of christ in you and the command about your love to the brethren is changed from a burden into a joy if you but keep it linked as jesus linked it to the command about his love to you abide in my love love one another as i have loved you this is my commandment that ye love one another as i have loved you is not this now some of the much fruit that jesus has promised we shall bear in very deed a cluster of the grapes of eshcol with which we can prove to others that the land of promise is indeed a good land let us try in all simplicity and honesty to go out to our home to translate the language of high faith and heavenly enthusiasm into the plain prose of daily conduct so that all men can understand it let our temper be under the rule of the love of jesus he cannot alone curb it he can make us gentle and patient let the vow that not an unkind word of others shall ever be heard from our lips be laid trustingly at his feet let the gentleness that refuses to take offence that is always ready to excuse to think and hope the best mark our intercourse with all let the love that seeketh not itself but ever is ready to wash others feet or even to give its life for them be our aim as we abide in jesus let our life be one of self-sacrifice always studying the welfare of others finding our highest joy in blessing others and let us in studying the divine art of doing good yield ourselves as obedient learners to the guidance of the holy spirit
by his grace the most commonplace life can be transfigured with the brightness of a heavenly beauty as the infinite love of the divine nature shines out through our frail humanity fellow christian let us praise god we are called to love as jesus loves as god loves abide in my love and love as i have loved bless god it is possible the new holy nature we have and which grows ever stronger as it abides in christ the vine can love as he did every discovery of the evil of the old nature every longing desire to obey the commandment of our lord every experience of the power and the blessedness of loving with jesus love will urge us to accept with fresh faith the blessed injunctions abide in me and i in you abide in my love End of 26th day.